In this video, I'll take you step by step through how to make my favorite shrub, which is the one that I call Martha's Way. Okay, so let's talk about the ingredients you're going to need. It's very simple. You're going to need three things. First of all, you'll need a bag of cranberries. Second, perhaps some sugar. And third, some white wine vinegar. That's all you need. If you like the taste and you have it, you can also add some thyme. So that's the ingredients. In terms of the equipment that you'll need, it's pretty simple. You will need a saucepan, measuring cup, and if you have one of these handy dandy funnels, so much the better. If you don't, you may have to be very careful putting it in the jar. And then of course you're going to need a jar to put everything in. That's it. So step one is pretty simple. We're just going to wash our cranberries and sort through them and put them in the saucepan. Let's talk about what we mean by sorting through them. If you've ever dealt with fresh fruit, you know that sometimes you find ones that are a little squishy like that. We don't want that, so we're not going to take those. What I usually do when I'm making shrubs is I leave the water, a little water trickling here, like so, and I pick up four or five cranberries at a time and kind of feel them just to make sure that I don't have, feel any squishy spots. If I feel anything squishy, I get rid of it. So wash your cranberries, put them in the saucepan. Okay, and in case you're wondering, that was the hardest part of this recipe, just sorting through the cranberries. So whew, we're through the hard part. Okay, so we're ready to move on to step two, which involves putting all the ingredients into the pot and heating it just a bit. But for those of you who are worried about that bourbon cranberry shrub, don't be. I'm taking good care of it. Okay, so I'm going to take the whole bottle of white vinegar. I've taken the little shaker top off of it to make it easy to pour. Otherwise, I would stand here for quite some time and pour and pour. That's no fun. <clears throat> and I have a half cup measure. Just going to dip into my sugar. I'm going to add a half a cup. And I'm going to add mm, a little bit, two-thirds of half a cup, I guess. And that's that. Now I'll turn the heat on. Okay, so let's talk about this process for just a minute. Because I've made this recipe, this third time I've made it. And the first time that I made it, I thought I was following the instructions very carefully. Um, but I turned around and to get something out of the refrigerator and got distracted. And the next thing I knew, I heard a cranberry pop in the pan. And I was like, oh, and I turned it off and let it cool. And it was absolutely perfect. The last time I made this was this past weekend. I was up at my friend's cabin and I thought, well, I'll just make a recipe of this and leave it in the refrigerator for them for Thanksgiving. And I made it as written in the instructions, which is just heated enough to dissolve the sugar. And I put it in the jar and I waited and I waited two days. And the color didn't change. And so I realized that I needed to heat it as much as I had heated the other one, which was just enough to make a couple of cranberries pop and then stop. So I'm going to revise the recipe um, so that it says that. But at this point, I can feel there's still a lot of undissolved sugar down there. So we're going to heat this, and we're going to let it just come to a quick boil, just enough to pop a couple of cranberries, and we're going to turn the heat off, and we're going to let it cool. So hang with me for just a minute. There's still a bunch of unsolved sugar in there. I have the heat on about six. I'm cooking on a gas stove. 
So um, that's right next to high. Um, every stove is different, so you'll just have to kind of determine this for yourself. But the important thing is dissolve the sugar <clears throat> and let a couple of cranberries pop. By the way, yeah, when you're making um, shrubs, a lot of these vinegar bottles are great for storing your vinegars. Oh, I can hear a little something going on here. I still have a little bit of dissolved sugar. Um, so I like to take the labels off of these and run them through the dishwasher and save them because these are great bottles to use, especially if you keep the top, great bottles to use for making vinegars to give away and that kind of thing. Um, especially if you don't expect the, the jar to come back to you. We're getting close. I can feel that the sugar has dissolved and I'm starting to hear a little bit of action in there. So as I said, as soon as I hear the first cranberry pop, we're going to turn it off. There's a little pop. <laughs> that was a big pop. Let's call that the first cranberry popped. So <laughs> that was kind of fun, wasn't it? All right, so I've turned the heat off, and now I'm going to just let this cool for, for a little bit. Um, you don't have to let it cool, but it's easier to handle if you do. Okay, we're ready to move on. I've got my clean jar. I've got my handy-dandy funnel. I have my thyme sprigs, which I've washed. These are optional. I'm going to throw those in. And now I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab my mixture that I cooled a little bit, and I'm going to ladle it into the jar. It's still pretty hot. And I can see as I'm ladling it in that there are a number of cranberries that have popped just a little bit. The cranberries are um, softened enough to release their juices. Now, it's really important that I get all in the vinegar that I can, even if I can't manage to fit all the cranberries in. And there we go. I've got some cranberries left over and I can save those and use them for garnishing or even use them in another dish. And that's that. Is that gorgeous or what? And that's how you make the shrub. Now we're going to let this sit for a couple of days and it's ready to use. Actually, it's ready to use now if you want to, but it is going to do nothing except get better if you let it sit and melt for two or three days. You could store it in your refrigerator for, gosh, um, they say three weeks, but it's vinegar, y'all. It's vinegar and sugar. Those are natural preservatives. I'm sure you can save it longer than that. So enjoy. Make some of the Make a cranberry shrub for Thanksgiving and surprise your guests or your family with it. Um, I know this has become a favorite around here. Um, bourbon cranberry shrub, absolutely. Just a cranberry shrub to drink in the afternoon, absolutely too. Hope you enjoyed it.